From Freedom News TV, thousands of protesters show up in New York City to stop the war overseas as they shut down entire streets to play the drums in the rain with their cowbell for justice. But as tensions got hot, a hand grenade was found in an Uber nearby. New York City, you know, one police fire medical. There's a bomb going on. I don't know something like this. I don't know what happened here. I said the person said they found a bomb in the backseat of their car. But of course, the useless class doesn't care there's an actual emergency and danger to their own group. They legitimately think this is going to stop an overseas conflict. But the NYPD stated they did arrest the protesters, blocking the cops responding to a possible bomb. <laughs> Now it's one thing when unemployed behavior gets you drumming in the rain in a parade of uselessness, which either cowbell guy is either a god-tier troll, or the irony of him hurting Biden's tax slaves like literal livestock is going right over their heads. But now they're going entirely too far when their so-called activism has them blocking cops from possibly saving their life. Because just like when these street protesters block commuters from going to work, the trapping ambulances on bridges, and now bomb squads from defusing a device that might just go off in a busy city full of civilians, which is the ultimate level of irony, as this is the same exact thing they're allegedly trying to stop over there, they're actually recreating right here at home. Because although this grenade scare turned out to be a dud, apparently this is something New York City has just seen a few months ago. Not to mention in the same day, they found a fake fed wielding a gun blade in Brooklyn, which maybe they should have just let this vigilante do his thing for a while, I don't know. As apparently NYC subways have seen more murder recently than in the last 15 years. And after all the defunding, demoralizing, and actual beatings the NYPD receives from migrants that are already walking free, are they allowed to actually spend their limited resources on city safety, or are they too busy babysitting the EBT class bickering over Biden on their way to go vote for him again? Because let's be clear, no amount of protests in the streets is going to change the fact that billions of our tax dollars will be sent overseas to fund both sides of this conflict, when all the left has to do is is remind these emotionally fragile, easy to manipulate voters that they can hurt like literal livestock. They can just tell them that orange man bad and their mail-in ballot is more than secured. Not to mention the fact that they're protesting on behalf of a fundamentalist religious group that would absolutely not agree or even allow their very liberal lifestyles. But this short-sightedness comes from the top as AOC preaches at a Queers for Palestine protest in Florida. It is not a political impossibility to stand for a ceasefire Fight for Medicare for all! Yes, vote for these people. They may say all the things that can make you cheer and feel like you're helping out the little guy, but they'll still vote along their party lines even when they admittedly have zero comprehension of the bills they're voting on, or how even if they get what they're demanding for in the streets, it's self-sabotage. It's like watching dinosaurs stomping through the tundra, cheering on a meteor because at least he's not Trump, as the Florida protesters seem to be a bit bizarre. Chicago protesters are literally holding up Dark Brandon posters. And Show Show in Washington shows us that those protesters want to be seen, but not up close. <laughs> now one, I'll never understand being so proud of your movement that you're willing to sacrifice your precious Saturday to support it, but also need to cover your identity with a mask and whack anybody actually recording you doing the alleged righteous thing. But also, why do they always gotta bring cartoons into it? Isn't Bluey for kids? So what exactly are they trying to accomplish? And who exactly are they trying to sway with this 8th grade level drawing of a cartoon dog? I'm sorry, but anybody with the amount of free time to enjoy Bluey, adults or otherwise, has zero. And I mean absolutely zero ability to stop overseas conflict, which just emphasizes the fact that performative activism isn't actually out to stop the issues, it's just to give the emotionally fragile with too much free time a kid's activity to do well into adulthood, as the protest in San Francisco, California had them taking down the US flag to put up another country's flag instead. to which their coppers finally put a stop to their nonsense. Which is in stark contrast to when they do the same in New York City.
And the sad part is, I actually agree with some of the sentiments they're saying. I too think innocent civilians being caught in the crossfire is terrible, and my tax dollars shouldn't be spent on drones overseas while actual Americans are still starving. And we definitely shouldn't be funding both sides of any war. The difference between me and these protesters in the streets is I know that stopping my feet in disbelief at the Democrats, then turning around and agreeing that terrible Trump will somehow start World War III, is doing absolutely nothing to accomplish the goal of ceasefire over overseas. Because we keep hearing Biden saying it'll all stop soon, but he also thinks Gaza borders Mexico. Initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. I talked to him. I convinced him to open the gate. I talked to Bibi to open the gate on the Israeli side. Ukraine is somehow inside Gaza. In the coming days, we're going to join with our friends in Jordan and others from providing airdrops of, of uh, additional food and supplies into Ukraine. And can't even be trusted to walk up seven steps safely. But these people honestly believe that Biden will suddenly turn down the ability to have tens of billions of bucks vanish overseas. Makes me believe they're simply out of their mind. Not because they think Biden will change his, because they're protesting him, when I don't think he's actually in charge of any of this. So if you appreciate my concise, light order commentary on the tragic status that is today's reality, hopefully I've earned your subscription, then go check out the video on how New York City imported third world levels of crime and responded with a tactical dance team.